Morning guys, late morning. Ah, I was up kind of early. It is. Whoa, no, it's it's afternoon already. It's 12 oh 12 15, something like that. 12 30 almost. So last night I showed you the well I put it put on on YouTube this crazy um eave trough right here. It's on this type of an angle, so it all poured out right here. And I called him up, and the lady first hung up on me. This was this morning. So I left her a message uh, yesterday. I might even send her email, too. So uh, I'm talking to her, saying, hey, you know, this is where I'm at. This is what you guys did. And this is the results. And uh, um, she, hung up on, she hung up on me. Of course when I called her back she said she got disconnected right yeah yeah likely story because uh, after I talked to her about it she read the email or got the email and the uh, voicemail um, she says someone will be over here later today I think she said this afternoon and then she slammed the phone down hang on <laughs> wipe, the, wipe the leads so I mean that water was rushing in um, if they don't respond quickly, I'll, I'll post my YouTube video on uh, Facebook. I'm uh, kind of ticked off about the thing. Um, so we'll see what happens. Other than that, my day is going wonderfully. Yeah, hey, we got a lot of rain. Um, quite a bit of rain. And I re we really needed it because... Um, because... It's dry here. And it came down pretty hard pretty steadily until about oh let's just say 12 30 1 o'clock this morning that's all right so uh but right today it's really warm what's the what's the temperature here you ask hang on i'll tell you it says 78 degrees and we'll have a high of uh, 81 I see the number 56 next to it. Take a look. What does that mean, the 56? Is that the low? I don't think so, because it, uh, it was pretty warm all night. So we're supposed to have uh, clear skies all day. Sunset is 849. Not bad. So what am I doing today? I am uh, doing some tin knocking again. Um, what happened was had the guys from uh, Holst Heating and Cooling, HVAC, something like that, and they put in a brand new furnace and air conditioning unit in the house, and uh, it's a little bit uh, heavier duty than the one that uh, was in there originally, and it feels good. It feels really good really good it took maybe 45 minutes to get rid of all the heat because we were off air conditioning for about a week and a half and thankfully it was uh probably 11 days of the 12 it was chilly cool outside so we could open the windows and the air came in but then uh sunday and monday it was really really hot so, excuse me, oh, so, um, I didn't get up to sleep last night. My eye bags are getting really saggy again. And I get black around them. And I can call myself Alice Cooper. But, uh, yeah, they put it in. They were finished about 5 o'clock and uh, p.m. And it took off like a rocket very nicely. So let me just show you what I'm doing right now. I did let the horses out, fed them, clean the stalls really, really good. Because we kind of brought now, kind of brought them in a little earlier. But I don't believe we did really. Um, when I think about it, what happened was um, it started, it, I mean, all night it was, uh, thunder was crashing. So I'm thinking 
that kind of triggered a reaction to these snowflake horses. And what happened is uh, uh, they started making deposits to the stall floor rather frequently. So there was quite a quite a dump site in their stalls, and I mean it was only what a eight hour stint in the barn. So um, I cleaned it all up nicely, got it looking pretty, very pretty. Now I smell like horse crap, and who cares? I don't mind. <laughs> Horses don't smell that bad, in my humble opinion. Uh, what else was there? Um, so after the guys were finished replacing the plenum and the return, I told them I wanted the sheet metal. So it, it was this thick and this wide and that tall. So they just left it on the lawn and I brought it in this morning. And what I'm doing right now is flattening it because I want to use this for, for grain storage. So what I'm doing is I'm bending it flat. I did one already. I'll show you that in a second. I'm not going to do the whole thing. I'll just show you some of the some of the features. Hey, I got a name to drop. Do you guys remember a guy by the name of, of uh, Ron Skydema? Ron Skydema? Or Skydeman? I think it was Skydema. Priest's name. And he was a tin knocker with um, Coyman. What was his first name? There was a guy by the name of Coyman. The last name was Coyman. Can't think of his first name. And uh, they were both uh, tin knockers. Coyman, for a while, was uh, um, was the uh, assistant foreman, assistant foreman of the uh, maintenance department at Kilo Brass got um, Kentwood plant. What was Coyman's first name? One guy's name I totally forgot was Chris. Oh shoot, Chris something I already. Um, not because I'm old, because I've been old for a long time. Some Coyman. So he was the uh, assistant foreman for a while, and then he took a step down to become a tin knocker again. He was a tin knocker before. And him and Ron Skydema would kick butt making these the duck work, huge duck works, like this big around. And they'd rivet them all. Punch the holes in there, then rivet, pile the rivets on a railroad track bar that they had across the uh, sheet metal bench table. And uh, that's where I learned a lot of my tin knocking. And obviously I didn't learn very well. But uh, <laughs> I'm just making this flat. And this is for to line the... Um, Line the uh, grain bin for the hog horses. I got my earplugs. That's gonna be difficult for me to talk because I don't know how loud I'm talking. So I hope you guys can hear me. So I'll do this along the whole thing and then I'll flip this thing over again. And beat that flat. See how that's going? And then the end is flat like this. It'll be completely flat. And I just got to pound this on that uh, plate right here. So it gets plenty flat. Flat enough for me. Uh, I'll show you the one that I did. 
I wonder if those guys from uh, Alloy is going to come here to do the um, eave troughs. Otherwise, I'm going to have to put a, a scaffolding down. Why a scaffolding and not a ladder? Because I'm scared of heights. And that ladder is in a very precarious, precarious position. Like that, you know. And I don't like that. I'm not loving that. So, I'll set a uh, scaffolding with a thing across a 4x8 sheet of plywood across, heavy one, so that I don't fall. I hate falling, especially from any distance. So this is the piece of sheet metal that I straightened out already. And when I say straighten, it's not, a, it's not absolutely flat, but who cares? Um, it doesn't need to be. I remember making these darts in my uh, large panels. Again, I learned that from Ron Skydema and uh, Harold Coyman. Harold? No, I don't know. When I think about it, I'll let you know. Smart guys. Um, so, I have to buy a uh, solder iron, a big giant solder iron made out of copper. I know I said that before, but that's all right. Uh, no work to be done on this thing today, as far as I can tell. I'm still waiting for the radiator. I'm going to look up where the radiator is at. Uh, it was like a five to six week wait time on that thing. Wow. But I did get a ton of stuff done along the way, so I'm not really that concerned about it. Um, oh, I did get a nice call from, uh, or I, did, I might have told you this too, a nice call from my bobber mechanic, Honda 750 bobber mechanic, and he's, uh, he said he got it to turn over, just doesn't have spark yet, but they'll get that figured out, and uh, get it running and let me know. How sweet is that? What else will I do today? I don't know. Today is really messed up. I got a meeting at church tonight at 7, so that's going to come by real quick. Uh, I do have to pick up some construction paper, heavy construction paper, so that I can make a, a, a prototype box for my, for my electronics for the car. and then uh, buy some sheet metal for that. I uh, also need a piece of sheet metal for my tractor loader, you know, the, the bucket. That's got a humongous area that's all rusted out because the horse crap is so acidic. And But it's been, what, 21 years that I've been driving it. And uh, I'll tell you what, I'm really tickled on how that thing handled for me. So I'll... Uh, Get some uh, today. I got to pick up a notebook and um, a notebook and uh, some construction paper from. I don't know if I have to go to an office supply or I have to go to a, a hobby type shop. I don't know. Um, I'll try the office supply first because there they have the notebooks, right? So that's where I'm at guys. Uh, let me finish pounding this sheet metal and what's really nice is I'm gonna I might just screw this thing into the inside of the box instead of actually soldering it. Screwing will be a lot easier. Get um, Just drill a bunch of little holes in there and then zip 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 or just punch holes into there. Just needs to be small holes and run it into the wood. Uh, the bin, bin will be made out of um, Two by fours and two by sixes. I'm thinking, and I got a bunch of it in the woods, so I can grab some of that and butcher it up and line it with that sheet metal. It's going to be a pretty big bin because uh, I want to put at least three to four bags, sacks of uh, grain in there. So all Kathy's got to do is scoop it. You know, open the lid, scoop it, and throw it out. That's where I'm at, guys. That is where I'm at. Uh, I want to do some driving. I was going to go shop for not just those two things, you know, the notebook and the construction paper, but there's something else I had to buy. I can't remember what. Paint? Maybe paint for the, uh, the lower exhaust system. I want to paint that. 
a just a black but I wanted to stick to that chrome which I scuffed up so we'll see what happens so I'm thinking that's about it guys I'll uh, do a midday report uh, the day again is just drop dead gorgeous got a little breeze going on of course I got my homemade breeze here with a fan close the other door for now because it's so noisy when I pound but uh, check this out guys it's like paradise here huh a couple of doves taken off I did tell you the other day I, I'm still flabbergasted at this I uh, was I walked in the woods back um, yesterday oh, I might have been Sunday I took a walk in the woods not way deep in the woods but then I hear this strange cackling or or not screeching but a call flying over overhead making huge circles smaller circles I looked and it was a pileated woodpecker being chased by a, um, a hawk and it wasn't a red tail it was just you know one of these larger falcon falcon type hawks and the poor thing was just yelling you know and then finally it took off the hawk took off uh, the um, he was out able to out maneuver the hawk thank goodness for that so anyway let me finish this up and then I'll show you I'll show you where I'm at later on because I also want to pound this thing into the ground this wind chime that'd be really cool all right see you guys bye